well-cared-for African catfish broodstock can be used in a hatchery for many years. Females especially become more profitable over time as they will continue to grow, since bigger females produce more and slightly bigger eggs. Post-propagation care is therefore crucial to ensure that the females keep performing well in terms of the quality and quantity of the eggs. After the eggs have been stripped from the female, she should be placed in an individual holding unit with clean water that is continuously flushed. This is necessary for flushing the tranquilizer out of her system as soon as possible and getting her to wake up and swim again. Many hatcheries only use males once, meaning that after milk collection the males are discarded. Hatcheries that operate on males so they can collect milk during multiple spawnings over the years will stitch them up and also place them in a separate holding unit with clean water. Both the male and female catfish should be closely monitored in the hours after the procedure to make sure that they do wake up properly and that the males are not bleeding from the stitch incision. Females should be stripped once more, 24 hours after the initial stripping, to make sure that their bellies are empty and that they are not left with ovulated eggs that they did not release. This procedure will help a speedy recovery as their bodies do not have to get rid of the eggs internally. For the second stripping, sedation is not needed as this is a short procedure and the eggs do not need to be collected. Both male and females are best kept in their separate holding units for about a week after spawning to make sure that they recover fully and to see if they will start eating again. African catfish are very sensitive to stress and exposure to stressors often leads to a partial or complete drop in feed intake. Spawning is an energy demanding process and getting catfish back to eating as soon as possible is the key to a good physical recovery after propagation. After a week of normal behaviour in the holding units, the fish can be placed in the general broodstock tanks again. But the hatchery must ensure that these fish won't be used for at least the next six months to allow them to recover and give them time to start producing a new cycle of eggs and milk. A good system should therefore be in place to tell the individual fish apart, either through tags or by marking the tanks. An essential part of good aftercare is to make notes of the performance of the broodstock. Keeping records of the fish's weight, the weight of the eggs produced and the quality of the milt will help you with forecasting the production success the next time you use these specific individuals.